Hi everyone, in today's video I want to show you how to get started with the Reddit API and how to mine Reddit and collect interesting data. The data on Reddit is extremely valuable, especially when you need to collect training data to train a machine learning model. There's just so much content available on Reddit and you can use this for many different types of applications. So in the first part of this video, I want to show you how to get started with the Reddit API. And in the second part, later in this video, we go a step further. So I will also show you how you can easily and automatically label and then save the data. So in this example, we do a simple sentiment classification for the politics subreddit that we can see here. And then we have labels that tell us if the title is positive, negative or neutral. This is really simple and only needs a few lines of code, but it is an extremely powerful way to collect data for your own projects. And by the way, if you want to see a full project with this for a particular subreddit, then let me know in the comments below. For example, my idea was to use the headlines of this politics subreddit here and use this in a next project and then combine this data with stock market data and create a stock prediction app. But I'm also open for other ideas, so if you have a cool idea, then let me know. All right, so let's get started. And for this, you need a Reddit account, of course, and then you can go to reddit.com slash prefs slash apps. And here you need to create a new app. And here we give it a name. So let's simply call this example. Then I select that this is a script for my own use. Then we don't need a description, but we need to give it a URE. And here we can just select, for example, localhost uh, colon 8080. This just works fine. And then we click on create app. And now this is everything we need. So now we get a secret and also a ID for this app. And we need this later, so remember this. And then the next thing we want to do here is to uh, set up the pro or Python Reddit API wrapper. This is a pretty cool um, and simple wrapper for the official Reddit API and you, you can use this very easily. So the only thing you need to do to install this is say um, pip install pro and then you're good to go. All right, so let's jump to an example script and see how we use this. So here I do some imports that you don't need for the Reddit API. This is just for later. So here I use pandas, numpy, matplotlib and seaborn. And then now this is what we need for the Reddit API. So we import pro, of course, after installing it with pip install pro. And then we need to define a user agent. So here you can give it any name, but I recommend to give it also a version. So here I say scraper 1.0 by, and then this is my Reddit username. And then you set up a Reddit client like this. So you say Reddit equals pro dot Reddit. And here you need the client ID, the client secret and the user agent. So let's get back to this site and up here, this is your client ID. So let's copy and paste this in here. And then we also need a secret and the secret is found here. And let's copy and paste this as well. And now this is all we need so we can run this code. And now to access the data from a subreddit, we can do this, we can say for submission in reddit.subreddit and then the name of the subreddit. And then for example, we can use dot hot and give it a limit or just say limit is none. Then we get as many results as there are available. And here we can also use hot or new or rising or top. And then we iterate over this. And for example, for a submission, we can access the title, the ID, the author, the created date or time, the score, the upvote ratio and the URL. So all of this are pretty valuable information. And to get a full list, I can point you to the official API docs for the pro client. So there are a lot more attributes for a submission that you can access. So I will put this in the description. So in this case, let's simply print this for the very first submission and then break to see how this looks like. 
So yeah, so here we get the title and now this should be the first submission in the hot category. So if we go to the politics subreddit and let's reload the site. And then we see at the number one with 1.5k upvotes, we have this title 50 days of Joe Biden, blah, blah, blah. So let's go back to here and let's check this. So here 50 days of Joe Biden. So we have the same um, submission found. So this is working correctly. Then we can also see the ID, the author, the created date or time, then the score and the upvote ratio and the URL. So we can work with all of that. And now in this simple example, what I do here, I let's get rid of this again. So I only want to store the title now. And it may happen that the same title appears multiple times. So what I do here is I use a set and then iterate over the uh, submissions and then add the submission title to the set. This will give us unique values. And so let's run this and then print the length of our headlines. All right, so this worked. So right now we see we have 803 submissions found in the hot category currently. So yeah, if this is not enough, then you can run this multiple times a day. And again, that's why this set is helpful because you want to have unique values. So now let's go on and let's convert this to a pandas data frame and analyze this a little bit. So here we inspect the head. So here we can see the different headlines. And now um, we can simply dump this to a CSV file by saying df.to CSV and then give it a name. And I also don't want to have this header with the zero. And we also give it an encoding and say index equals false. So now if we have a look at my folder, then we see we have now the headlines.csv. So let's simply open this with a text edit. And here we have it. So if we make this larger, then we can see this work. So we have every headline in one row. So this is pretty much everything you need to set up a, a Reddit client and download data from a subreddit and then store it in a CSV file. So now let's take this a little bit further and automatically label these headlines to see if this is positive, negative or neutral. And for this, we use this great library NLTK. So I already have a tutorial where I use this for a chatbot that I will link here. So again, you can install this with pip install NLTK. And then here we also want to download a particular data set for the sentiment analyzer. So let's run this and download this. And now what we do here is we use this sentiment intensity analyzer. So this is available in nltk.sentiment.vader. So we import this and then we create a analyzer. And then we create a results list and now we iterate over our headlines. And then the only thing we have to do is call our analyzer dot polarity scores with this line. And this will do an automatic sentiment classification for us. And this will return a dictionary. So here I also store the current line as a headline key in this dictionary and then append it to the results. And then I print the first three results to see how this looks like. So here we see we get a compound value, then we have the headline, and then we see negative, neutral and positive. And these three numbers add up to one. So this is a probability. And now we have our data labeled automatically for us with these few lines of code. So now here what I do is I create another data frame like so by saying pandas data frame dot from records. And now here we have the dictionary or sorry, this is more a list with dictionaries. And then here we can see the uh, new data frame. So here we have these new columns 
with the negative, the neutral, the positive, the compound value and the headline. And then I create a new column that I call label. And now by default, I say this is zero. And then here you can define a threshold. So in this example, I say if the compound value is greater than 0.2, then we say our label is one. So this means it's positive and smaller than minus 0.2. We give it the label minus one. So let's run this and have a look at the data frame again. So now we see we have this new column with the head and the labels. And now I only want to store the headline and the label. So again, I create a new data frame from this like this and save it to a CSV file. So now again, if we go to my folder, then we see we have this new file here and we can open this as well. And then we can see now we have our new CSV file and this time we included the header. So we have the headline and the label as our headers. Then we have the headline and then we have the label that could be minus one or zero or plus one like here. All right, so now this is everything you need and then you can use this for your own projects. So let's do a few examples. So here we can do, for example, we can say data frame dot label dot value counts. And then we see we have this many neutral headlines, this many negative and this many positive headlines. We can also get this as percent values, like by saying data frame dot label dot value counts with the normalize parameter set to true and then multiply it times 100. And then we have the percent values. And now here, let's also print a few positive headlines and negative headlines. And for example, if we have a look at a few negative headlines, then here we find threatens to sue. And here in this, we have disheartened, saddened and angry. So this is an indicator that our cl sentiment classification is working. So it might not be the best one, of course, but it's working pretty fine to get an automatic and easy um, labeling for your data. So yeah, now you have this and here I also do a little plot. So here we have the percentage of negative, neutral and positive headlines plotted. All right, so I think this was pretty easy. And now we have these two valuable CSV files that we can use for any other project where we want to set up a NLP model and train it with this data. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. And again, if you have a cool idea uh, which subreddit I should scrape and then analyze, then let me know in the comments below. And then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.